there's definitely that mutual respect there. Um, but still scary, man. When, when you get those big, big boys squaring off and staring down, I literally had to say to them, guys, no, no, because Cormier said, you don't need to touch us. And I said, we're in New York, man. Don't do anything. Promise me. And so they get in close like that and just such a scary stare down between two big, bad dudes who can knock anybody out at any moment. It's, it's, it's a crazy feeling standing there in between guys like that. I was thinking the same thing because Daniel Cormier, he is a heavyweight. He, I know he came up from light heavyweight division, but he's got a home here at heavyweight. But Derek Lewis is a big guy. That, that size difference is big. Listen, when, when, when him and Volkov were staring down and they started getting into it, I felt this power between these two that like these guys could have threw me into the seventh row if they wanted to. I was like, man, this it's crazy when you get in there between the heavyweights. It's crazy. You don't have to like the way that he won the fights, and you can say he got lucky in these fights. There's no such thing as luck in a fight. He was he was the entire fight trying to knock him out. That's his thing. He's not going to take you down and submit you in some fancy submission, or he's not going to get to put together eight to ten punch combinations to blow your mind. He's going to catch you on your chin or your temple and knock you dead. That's what he does. There's nothing lucky about that. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing in the makeup of Derek Lewis that is lucky when he wins a fight. He's the number two ranked guy in the world, and I respect Cormier for taking him on, but he's ranked number two. How are you going to say no to the number two guy in the world? Yeah. He, the other guy was Stipe, who he just knocked out in the first round. Cormier knocked out in the first round. So everybody can say this guy and his Popeye's chicken and his what and this and that and everything else. This guy can beat anybody on any given night. Mm -hmm. When you're dealing with the heavyweights, you know, they, 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 they don't have the ripped up abs and, and the this and the that. But what they do have is they have that phenomenal one punch power that most, most people don't possess. And Derek Lewis has it in truckloads, you know what I mean? And uh, to, for anybody to think that, oh, he's so lucky to be here and, and, and he's lucky he caught that guy, there was no luck about it. Um, Demetrius Johnson just left the UFC and went over to 1FC in a 1FC for people who have no idea what we're talking about is a gigantic organization in Asia they are literally the equivalent to the UFC in Asia and although many people in America are not aware of them they don't know who they are they're a huge organization overseas absolutely gigantic and they do a fantastic job they have real high-level fighters uh, ben Askren was their champion. He was undefeated over there, and he had, I, th I think, at least one fight, maybe two fights left in his contract. I forget how many. And they made a deal. And the deal was they take Mighty Mouse, and we get Ben Askren. And so that's where it's at right now. I love the deal. I love it. I love the idea <clears throat> of it. I mean, um, I feel like Mighty Mouse... You know, he um, he loves the idea of starting new in a new organization, and you know they're gonna pay that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, nice. Yeah, all these flyweights need to get paid. <laughs> exactly, and he also likes the mentality that that organization is operated with, which is um, respect for the martial arts. They're not into this. You know, what we saw with the Conor McGregor, Khabib Nurmagomedov fight, all the trash talking and all the all the stuff that you're seeing that was becoming more and more prevalent in the UFC, you uh, you don't see that at all at 1FC. And that's something that uh, Mighty Mouse is very happy about. <coughs>